Return on equity, ROE, is a key factor in evaluating a company's performance. We're using the biggerfish.com system to look at Apple's ROE. Apple's ROE moved up by 62% for its most recent quarter compared to the previous one. It is of equal importance to figure out what actually moves the ROE. The ROE is calculated by dividing net income by shareholders' equity. The rise in ROE is a result of a rise of 147% in net income compared to a 17% rise in shareholders' equity. You can get a good understanding of what causes a change in net income by looking at revenue, at the total cost of revenue, and the total operating expenses. Total revenue grew by 31%, while total cost of revenue grew by 29%, and total operating expenses grew by 8%. So, the 147% rise in net income probably came from some other metrics. Shareholders' equity what's left from a company's total assets after deducting its total liabilities. For Apple, total assets diminished by 6%, while total liabilities diminished by 10%. This probably explains the 17% rise in shareholders' equity. The ability to easily see beyond the numbers and to gain insights into what actually moves financial metrics is crucial when you evaluate a company's performance. On biggerfish.com, you can do just that and so much more. Click on the link in the description below to do your own research and become a bigger fish investor in the stock market.